Okay, let's look at the process of how you go about calculating the pOH. Um, one important thing to understand with this is the general, well, it's just to know the general formula in which pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, that's your general formula that will get you what you're trying to find. Now, there's extra steps involved with this. If it's hydrogen ion concentration that's given, I'm asking for pOH. So we'll start here with the OH hydroxide ion concentration. So with this in mind, if I want to find the pOH, pOH it's simply the negative log of 5.741 times 10 to the negative fourth, which is the hydroxide concentration in this example. And in doing that, let's see what that looks like. So that's negative log. Obviously, it was at 5.741, 5.741 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Right, yeah, negative 4. Those parentheses, the answer is that. Now, looking at the original number, there's no addition or subtraction, so sig figs are 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs. 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs, 3.241. POH equals 3.241. It's as simple as that. Now, there's an extra step involved for the hydrogen ion concentration because POH is negative log of hydroxide. So in order to do this, I've got one of two options. I can either use this equation in which I say hydrogen ion concentration times hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, and that 1 being infinite significant figures, or, actually I should continue with that, and then um, hydroxide is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, oops, divided by hydrogen ion concentration. And then once you have hydroxide, you can find negative log of hydroxide, and there's your pOH. Your alternative, is to take advantage of another equation in which you can say that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. We'll say 14 with infinite significant figures. If you want pOH, you simply subtract pH from both sides. Subtract pH from here, subtract pH from here. pOH equals 14 minus pH. And that's what I'm actually going to do here, because this is it's a personal preference, okay? Because this would certain this would certainly work just fine. Also, I have a personal preference. I'll go with this. Why not? So, negative log of hydrogen ion concentration is going to give me the pH, which in this case is going to be equal to. Let's have a look. Uh, let's see, negative log of 4.3 times 10 to the negative 2 gives me that for a pH. So let's, 2 sig figs, we'll call it 2 sig figs, 1.4. And then uh, pOH equals 14 minus 1.4. Okay, that's in reference to this calculation here, pOH equals 14 minus pH, so if the pH is 1.4, then pOH is 14 minus 1.4, which is 12.6. So pH equals 12.6. I suppose I'll circle the answer, box the answer for this one too. Um, okay, so that being done and said, Let's see, just uh, checking on one of the earlier pieces. Okay. Two point two. Okay, I was just going back and checking. This is the wrong answer right there. Okay, I miscopied the number um, right there, but anyway, that should take care of that. Anyway, the process here is exactly the same as it was up here. So with this one, 
the negative log of 7.56 times 10 to the negative 9th is going to give me the pH. of 8.12, call three sig figs, and then 14 minus 8.12 equals the pOH, which is equal to, let's see, 5.88. Okay, so that's a nice little start for those first three. Honestly, the rest of the things on this list work the same way. So there's those first, or the, there's those last ones. In fact, let's zoom out a bit so you can see the entire thing. Okay, so this is a good time to pause the video, work these out, even rework these top ones, and then at, in a moment I'll put up the answer keys. Okay, so go ahead and work these out, and here come the answers. Okay, so there's the first few that I already did, plus more are coming. So there's one through four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So um, just be aware that, like with some of them like this, like, well, that's two sig figs. Why is that four sig figs? Because the PO or the the pH is calculated to be 0.15. Negative log of this was 0.15, two sig figs, two sig figs. But that goes out to the hundreds place, which means now that I'm subtracting, I've got to use the significant figure rules for subtraction. Since this goes out to hundreds place, and we're assuming this is infinite significant figures, that means that your answer must also go to the hundreds place. So whenever you subtract, ignore the stuff that's infinite sig figs and these other things. Just make sure they round to the same decimal place, hundreds place, hundreds place. Um, and the same thing applies for all the rest of these. Uh, we look at this one here, this pH, three sig figs, meant it went out to a hundredth place. So now your pOH is a hundredth place. Or here, four sig figs, four sig figs for the pH, and then since the, PO, since the pH goes out to the thousandth place, the pOH value goes out to the thousandth place. Okay, so it's just a matter of significant figures. And just a matter of following the same old significant figure rules that were presented back in the beginning of the year. All right, so there we go. That's one last bit. Let's uh, present the whole thing in view all at once, and that's it. So, let's take care of it, ladies and gentlemen. Happy studies.